Man, brethren, it's Brother Robbie. It's kind of late on a Thursday night um, memorial service for my uncle. My uncle's name is George Lucas, of all things. I used to joke about that when I was a lot younger, for obvious reasons, but no joking matter. He's, he's definitely not with us anymore. God bless him. And I got to see the family today. Uh, the service is tomorrow, which I'm not going to be uh, at. I, I just... Um, I have a lot of trouble focusing on my family because they have a huge family and I'm not always around um, them. I'm not always around, uh, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not always in touch with what they're doing because they're always doing such different things and God bless them too. But uh, anyways, today is a, a full moon. As I'm driving home, it's a full moon and um, earlier today, or actually yesterday, I think today or yesterday, um, I got an email from... One of those KJV guys. He's a oh, he's a he's a really like KJV non 501c3 large church. What's that guy's name? Oh my goodness! I get his I get his email maybe once a week or every couple weeks, and he was talking about people saying Jesus is coming um, tomorrow, like on Friday, because it's going to be a blood moon. Okay, um, it's not true. Um, just want to let everybody know Jesus is not uh, coming tomorrow. Um, not try to be mean or anything like that. I, I think it's good that people are excited about Jesus coming back and want to talk and get excited and stuff like that. But I, I was I was thinking about this uh, before when I was getting into all my end times talks and what have you. Is that people? The Bible does declare that there's going to be a great falling away at the beginning of the seven year period. I mean, there's going to be falling aways here and there anyway, but there's going to be a great falling away um, during the during that time. And I believe it's going to be. Uh, enough persecution um, enough enough of the tribulation not the great tribulation but enough tribulation in the beginning of the seven year period that's going to be extreme enough that a lot of Christians aren't going to be able to handle it so um, gearing around rapture is going to be a lot of deception it not happening and hearing it ha hearing about it so many times and it not happening crying wolf so many times is very very not healthy for people who might be weak in the faith and uh, it's very serious we're going to be giving an account to God for um, how we handle uh, prophecies. And the Bible talks about people prophesying falsely and God doesn't take it lightly at all. He says, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later, you know, and as if it's not a good thing. So um, we got to be careful how we say we know that Jesus said this or we know that Jesus is coming back because people are counting on voices. They don't, we, we, we in, our, in of ourselves, we know we don't know everything. So we reach out, we look out and see who's talking and, and hoping to hear the truth. But uh, that's, a, that's one of the rumors that are going on. I, I absolutely know Jesus is not coming back tomorrow. He cannot come until the scripture says he will. And he's not going to come until the man of sin is revealed first. And that hasn't happened yet. So the mark of the beast will be here on the world before Jesus comes in the clouds. And that's happening before he actually comes back to the earth. So we are definitely not, we're not as close as people think we are. It's not right at the door. It can't happen at any old time. That is absolutely not biblical. I believe that thought right there will be a huge root of the great falling away. So that uh, false prophecy is about the rapture and telling people that we're all going to escape the tribulation um, is, is just going to, I believe those are the two lies that are going to be a huge part of people cap, capsizing their faith. A massive amount of departure from the faith. And I don't know if that departure is going to be knowingly departing or is it going to be like a departing into deception? You know, I don't, I don't really know which one it is going to be, but I do know that people are going to be knowingly, there's going to have to be a lot of knowingly de denying faith. I guess that's what it would boil down to. So, because they're going to try to keep from being killed, you know, deny Jesus or we'll kill you. You know, they're going to be so scared thinking all this civilized Christianity was right when it's totally not. And um, they're not going to be ready. So, um, anyways, um, I was... You know, I had a, a lot of breakthroughs this week. I'm not going to tell you about it now. I'm going to talk about it during the sermon. And um, there's still some stuff going on that I'm not sure what's going on for sure. I'm not sure if it's uh, some of the stuff is settled or not. And it may not be. I don't really know how it's going to boil down. But um, I'm not going to tell you about it right now. I'll just tell you about it. I'm just, it's changing me. It's causing me to see differently. It's causing me to recognize the strengths and weaknesses of a lot of different Christians. People that I usually come down on. I'm not going to come down on them anymore. Um, I'm, under a certain light, I'm not going to come down on them because I, I'm, I'm going to say, you know what? There's a lot of strengths among a lot of really precious people. And it's really weird because this song 
is stuck in my head and I'm gonna sing it in just a second and uh, I haven't sang this for a long time it's like kind of when I first got saved I used to sing some of the um, more newer music and um, now now I'm not and it's just you know when the Lord's really truly dealing with me it's amazing how I feel like I'm called not to the holiness people but to the body of Christ and there is Christians in a lot of different denominations and I really see it I know it to be true and I'm grateful that the Lord can help me be the one that helps me to um, be the one who tells me what is I need to worry about I don't need to worry about who is saved and who's not I need to worry about what I'm doing and I need to team up for whatever reason with whoever God wants me to you know and to, together and to come apart just depending on my walk with God so anyways that song I was singing it really loud I don't feel like I'm singing it loud now because I'm actually home in the neighborhood so I'm gonna sing it kind of quieter holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come with all the nations I sing praise to the King of Kings and you are my everything and I will adore you Amen have a good night everybody or have a good morning if you are watching this early it's kinda of late right now I just had a long trip from the thing out there but praise God um, God bless everybody I love you all very very much I encourage you in, in the Lord I know you love him I know he loves you I know that God's got a lot for us it's hard to keep your mind on track but there's a kingdom language God that that, that just that's the place that rings the kingdom ringing the ringing of something coming true like something just rings with the truth of the kingdom and God's God's ringing it you know God's ringing the bell for us you know to let us know you know it's he's gonna put that ring in, in our faith, you know, so it rings and it's really right and really profound and grounded and and it's it's exciting, you know, so I see both sides of it. I see the kid's side of it, like, man, this is fun. And I see the serious side and it just, right now, I feel like I'm supposed to look at it in, in the welcoming place because there's a place that people need to see as beginners um, to feel welcome and to feel accepted and things like that. And I want that. I need I need people to feel that so they won't reject the kingdom truth because there's a lot of stages that I want to bring them to. I just want to see it happen you know by the Lord's spirit and so I, I don't want to stop anybody and this is more the attitude I had when I first got saved and uh, really really amazing things were happening then too so I just in different ways just really special so praise God everybody um, talked sorry for talking too long again but God bless you talk to you later bye